I am at the Miami Beach Convention Center. It's the first week of December, and it means that Art Basel is in town. Art Basel Miami Beach is celebrating a very important milestone, its 20th anniversary. Over 280 galleries are participating in the show. Without any further ado, let's go and check it out. The Miami edition certainly has a Latin American vibe to it, but I'll get back to it later. We'll start with an Italian gallery that I met in Florence. We are in the Tornaboni Art booth, and uh, it's a pleasure for me to introduce my, our collection. We represent uh, the masterpiece of 20th century and more focus in the second avant-garde, Italian avant-garde. Uh, on my back, you see a beautiful work of Alighiero Boetti's of the series of Copertina. It's a piece of uh, six meters, so it's uh, one uh, important piece that uh, exists only few, few pieces he realized in his life. You can see here a beautiful uh, series of uh, Cinque per Cinque of Alighiero Boetti. It's a series of embroidery, so uh, we display like this, how he used to do it in, uh, in his wall. Another big work of uh, still Alighiero Boetti and uh, uh, the alphabetic it's uh, Farsi and Italian. Here we have a great work of uh, Michelangelo Pistoletto that Michelangelo Pistoletto is one of the uh, best Italian artists uh, that represent the arte povera. He's the first artist that work with uh, the mirrors. It's incredible because with the mirror you became a part of the artwork. Then we have a series of teatrino. It's like a landscape. It's like a, in the dark, it's a blue, a very poetic with a, you see the holes here. Every time you see a hole or a, a cut on the canvas is always a fontana. A very nice room is dedicated to these uh, two artists. So there is Dada Maino that, uh, and uh, Enrico Castellani. Uh, Dada Maino, she created like the volumi, they call volumi, and uh, she, it's just uh, a cut, a cut on canvas, but uh, we found a particular work like this, very similar, with a similar shape, black and white, so rare to find together, the same measure, and it's very strong, as uh, the image, uh, final image is very powerful. Here we have a, a great work of Castellani, you see easily the shadows and if you change the, the spot the shadows can change so it's like a consider like an optical artist. Mimo Rotella represents the pop artist, Italian pop artist, it's very iconic and uh, consider, consider the Andy Warhol was uh, during the 60s and we are still in Italy, in Rome during the 60s so it's nice to show what he did, he, 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 he keep he kept from the street, he kept from the street the manifesto from the street. He, 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 he stretched and cut, the, cut and made a collage in the studio of the, of the manifesto on the street. And on the back you see there are a simple, uh, the title, the size and the, the, the signature of the artist. So it's really nice all the time you buy or you see a painting, you see the back because there is the history behind the painting. And here you see the provenance, you see if he made some, uh, even some uh, exhibitions. So there is a history also behind the painting. The next two galleries are from Brazil. My name is Flavio, Flavio Com. Uh, I'm from Brazil, from Sao Paulo, uh, director of Dan Galeria. Uh, this year, Dan Galeria is celebrating 50 years of uh, existence, so we are happy and proud to be here back at Art Basel Miami. Uh, who established the gallery? Because you're too young. <laughs> yeah, my father and my mother, uh, Peter Kohn and Glaucia Kohn, they are, they are in Brazil. They didn't come this year, but uh, they, they initiated the gallery in the early 70s, 1972. We are presenting continuously, we have been showing the artists that we represent, mostly uh, related to the optical, cinetic, concrete art, new concrete art, the historical artists, as well as some of the contemporary artists that continue the, the concept of the concrete art. This year, we brought a group of works of Jesus Soto. Next year, Soto would celebrate 100 years of birth, so we are preparing an exhibition to 
uh, celebrate all, also that date. Mm -hmm. He was a Venezuelan artist, as a Latin American artist that went to, to live in Paris in the 50s. Mm -hmm. And uh, he is the uh, key artist uh, of the Cinetic Art Movement. And Francisco Sobrino, uh, we did an exhibition in Brazil this year of Francisco Sobrino, so we decided to bring a group of works also of him. Mm -hmm. And Franz Weisman, a Brazilian artist, uh, sculptor, one of the most important sculptors also of that movement that mm -hmm. in Brazil began in the 50s, uh, the concrete art, and he was a member of the new concretism uh, movement in Brazil in the 50s until 60s. So I think that all the artists, they have a very good connection to, to establish a, a, a link and aesthetic relation among the artists the, the artworks that we, we are showing here. And how has the show been for you? Very good, we're happy. Yeah. Uh, yes, the sales? Sales, feedback, very positive, uh, compliments for the, the presentation, a good feedback and good response, so we are happy. That's awesome. great. Obrigada. At this fair, we've showcased a number of artists from our program, um, which focuses also on Brazilian art, with a few exceptions like J.R., Heinz Mack, Julio Le Parc. Um, the large piece behind me is by Rodolfo Parigi, a Brazilian artist, and this piece was featured in a recent show at Institute Tomiotake in Sao Paulo. We also have um, Arthur Lesher, who's the artist on view in New York at the moment, um, Rolo Morau, who will be doing a large installation on Park Avenue in 2023, and um, Jonathan Sandra who also has pieces in the Meridian section and was the Brazil Pavilion artist at the Venice Biennale. And um, yeah, it's the last three minutes of the fair, but it's been great and uh, really strong sales this year. So congratulations. Thank yeah. you so much. You're welcome. And a few highlights of the Meridian sector. Here is Jonathan de Andrade's installation, Lost and Found, presented by Nara Rosla Gallery. A live performance, Cheer by Colombian artist Maria Jose Arjona. This looks like a mannequin, but it's actually the artist suspended in the air. Let the Mermaids Flirt With Me is a Christopher Myers installation of stained glass paintings inside the chapel looking tent. Untitled by Peruvian indigenous artist Sarah Flores. Amazon delivery drone virtual property by Simon Denny. Questions and answers, Erin M. Riley. Cuban artist Jose Bedia presents installation Munantinda, which means the forest in Kekongo language. In the beginning, Paul Waters. Print work Columbus Day by Native American artist Edgar Heap of Birds. Installation Uprising by Argentine artist Andres de Negri. All Discipline by Mexican artist Nestor Jimenez. The Grove by Devon Shimoyama sparkles with thousands of Swarovski crystals. Installation Space Station, A Rock in a River by Colleen Smith. And Double Talk by Richard Deacon. And that's it from me, folks. From Miami Beach, I'm Jane Reeves.